Of course, when we're talking about the greenhouse effect, we're told that to model it using one layer, uh, we can use the following equation, which says that the surface temperature is equal to one plus the optical depth, the one fourth power times the black body temperature, which would be the temperature of the surface of the planet if the planet did not have any atmosphere. All right, so in question A, we're asked to demonstrate why this equation is true. All right, so we see that the surface temperature is uh, equal to the black body temperature with this other term, and we need to figure out where this term comes from. So we see that the ratio of the temperatures, I'm just going to shorten surf to S and black body to B, is uh, equal to 1 plus tau to the 1 fourth power. We know that temperature in general is proportional to flux to the 1 fourth power, because flux is equal to sigma t to the fourth over area. So perhaps we can use flux uh, to demonstrate why this relationship is true. So let's think about the, the different fluxes that we have in this equation. I have some initial flux which is emitted from the star, which will heat up the planet. And then this flux will be re-emitted uh, as the uh, black body radiation from the planet, which has now been heated up. And then some proportion of that re-emitted radiation uh, will be reflected back down towards the surface of the planet. All right, so the total flux that the surface will receive, which I'll, I will call um, F sub S, the surface flux, is equal to the initial emitted flux plus the reflected flux. All right, so since the, we're looking for um, something which involves the surface flux and the black body flux, um, let's try to solve for the surface flux since we know that will be proportional, and then also the black body flux. All right, so the, the surface flux is also going to be proportional to the black body temperature uh, to the fourth power, and the black body flux is just proportional to uh, the surface, or the black body temperature to the fourth. All right, that makes sense. And the black body temperature is just the flux we'd receive if there were no atmosphere, which would just be um, the the emitted flux. All right, so now we just need to find out what the surface flux is. So we just need to sum these two. And the key to this is realizing that the reflected flux, F sub R, is equal to tau times F sub E. So once we make that substitution, we see that the surface flux is proportional to uh, F sub E times the quantity of 1 plus tau. All right, so if we return to our original equation, uh, we can put this to the 1 fourth power and substitute it in, and then we'll see that the surface temperature is equal to 1 plus tau the 1 fourth times this emitted flux the 1 fourth, which is in this equation we'll see is just the black body temperature. And so we've recovered our initial equation. All right, so this is uh, question A. Now question B says that the optical depth on Venus is about 70, and its albedo is about 0.77. So now they ask, what is the surface temperature of Venus using this primitive? 